Do you ever have a recipe that is tied to your heart? Well, that's this recipe today, and that is pumpkin pie. First of all, I got this recipe from my mom, and we used to have this every single Thanksgiving as a child growing up on a pumpkin farm, and we definitely love this pie. Since I've been married, I have been able to make this for all my nieces and nephews when they've been born. So that's very special because their parents love this pie. And I've also been able to make it at many different fellowship meals with our church and many people have come to enjoy this pie over the years. My father-in-law loved this pie. He is now passed, so it's a good memory of him. And even more special, my nephew, when he was 11 years old, he learned to make this pie from one of my videos. So this pie is for all of those people and I hope that you will try it too because it's very popular, it's very tasty. So let's jump into this pie. Here in Canada, this is our best pureed pumpkin made by the company E.D. Smith. This is not sponsored, I wish it was, <laughs> but this is great pureed pumpkin. You can make your own, which I do as well, but this is so good. It's just the perfect consistency for a pie. This is 796 milliliters of pureed pumpkin. It is the perfect consistency for this pie. To our pumpkin, we are adding two cups of brown sugar. That is what gives it the delicious sweetness. Four eggs. Now, you can use pumpkin pie spice for this, and maybe ironically, I don't, because I don't want to over season this. I'm just using half a teaspoon of cinnamon and half a teaspoon of ginger, and that's it. So not a lot of spices, but I think that's why people like it so much, because it's not overpowering. So that's it for spices, and also, simply enough, half a teaspoon of salt. But we call it half and half or 10% milk fat cream. So sometimes we call it blend. So we are going to add a cup and a half of the half and half. So one full cup and half a cup more. And that is it. Can you believe it? That's all there is for the custard for pumpkin pie. It's so easy. And we make our own pie crust. If you haven't checked that out, this is our no fail pie crust. So I'm going to be mixing this up and adding my custard filling into my pie shells. In order to cook the custard perfectly, I cook it at 425 for 15 minutes. That just helps the custard to set up. And then I will lower my temperature to 350 and continue baking for approximately 35 more minutes. Now that time will depend on your own oven, how hot your own oven is, and how thick you make your, your pie custard as well. It smells so good. Well, our two pies are all done. Don't they look nice? And we are going to be serving these up for our gathering this evening with some of our family members. I'm just gonna slice you up a slice so you can see what the middle looks like. Love that custard filling. All right, here we go. So I hope you can give this pie a try because it is the best pumpkin pie that I have ever eaten in my life. Here we go. Wow, doesn't that look good? I'm gonna put a little whipping cream on here. Now you can have as much or little whipping cream as you like, but there, doesn't that look like a delicious slice of pumpkin pie? Please check out our recipe. I also made some cornbread today. We have a delicious cornbread recipe, so we have lots of good bread and soups and all kinds of dessert. Please check out our recipes because we have a lot of good ones. And please make sure you share some amazing pumpkin pie with your friends and family this Thanksgiving. Thanks for watching.